Welcome back to Pancras, Legends of Mixed Martial Arts. We're about to see Minoru Suzuki take on Todd Medina. Now, Josh, Todd Medina only has three career fights. I think he might be a little uh, in over his head against Suzuki. Uh, yeah. Uh, his last fight against Fuke ended up in, in him getting caught in an armbar, but he did seem to fare pretty well against Fuke for most of the fight. But Suzuki is in a different class all his own and is one of the top fighters within Pancras. Uh, while Medina has a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu background and cage fighting experience, Suzuki is one of the premier catch wrestlers in the world and was uh, Carl Gotch's, one of Carl Gotch's favorite students. And I imagine that the sort of dynamic game he's going to have to deal with from someone like Minoru Suzuki is something he's unaccustomed to, and I don't think he's going to fare too well. All right. So can Todd Medina hang in the ring with Minoru Suzuki? Well, let's find out. Todd Medina versus Minoru Suzuki. Fight! Minoru Suzuki comes into this fight with a uh, very impressive record, 15 and 6. Uh, his last loss to Boss Rudin, nothing to be ashamed about. And King of Pancras match at that, so, uh, you know, at one time, uh, Suzuki was carrying the title. And to get a world championship, you got to be a serious contender, a serious fighter. So how in the world does Todd Medina prepare for a fighter like Suzuki? Uh, what I think he needs to do is not think of so much as, as trying to match certain things that Suzuki does, but Todd is, is a bigger fighter, and he should really try to put the fight within his strengths and, and maybe slow this match down and get a good control point position-wise, and then work from there, either to wear his opponent out, eventually working for the submission, or maybe just to uh, keep him tight and then, and then maybe wait for Suzuki to make the mistake. As Suzuki landed a middle kick and is landing several knees, Medina forcing the clinch and rushing him into the ropes to uh, look for a takedown, I believe. And Medina thus far unsuccessful in his attempt to take, that, to take Suzuki down to the mat. It looks like Suzuki is also trying for the takedown, and what a, and what a surprise! Suzuki gets the takedown, he has the side control. Uh, counter to the reverse, uh, counter to a headlock attempt on Medina by Suzuki, ends up by using the underhook to put Medina on his back. Now Suzuki controlling, uh, Medina still uh, holding on to uh, Suzuki's head there, and I think Medina is looking for his opportunity to either reclaim his guard or maybe uh, reverse the situation. It looks like he's actually trying to get back to his feet. Suzuki's spinning arm lock attempt. And I think he's almost got the arm bar, Josh. Medina rolling, Very close. looking to escape the arm lock and cannot get out. Suzuki locking down the wrist, keeping the elbow in place, and uh, Medina's going nowhere. ま、僕の気持ちをストレートに試合で表すなら、え、Tom Medina going down to the armbar technique and maybe uh, from watching tape of uh, Medina previously against Fuke was uh, helpful for Suzuki. And Medina, uh, this was his fourth career fight, has a long way to go and Suzuki just showed him how long a road that will be. And uh, take it from here that while this is earlier in Todd Medina's career, Todd Medina went on to fight in many other organizations and uh, has found quite a bit of success in gathering titles as well. So, Todd Medina, no slouch. All right, in our next fight, we're going to watch Yusuke Fuke versus Jason DeLucia. How do you see this matchup playing out, Josh? Fuke, DeLucia. I think DeLucia, he, being the taller fighter, and, and uh, Fuke, it's going to be a quick match in terms of the speed at which it's uh, going to be played at, but I think that DeLucia is going to be very... Uh, he's going to have the advantage of having a really good game off of his back with his previous jiu-jitsu experience. Uh, Fuke is going to have to really watch out for things like the triangle choke and the armbar off the back, and uh, we'll see how he's going to take advantage of, of what strengths he might be bringing to the ring against DeLucia, who I would think on paper uh, kind of has the advantage in all areas. All right, Josh Barnett says DeLucia has the advantage. Is Josh Barnett a soothsayer? Let's find out. 
is Nusha vs. Isuke Fuke. As we saw with his last performance, Delusia looked very sharp. And Yusuke Fuke is 10 and 9. His last win against Todd Medina, who we just saw in action. Fuke initiates the clinch after eating a few kicks from Delusia. Delusia still more kicks, more strikes. And a single leg attempt by Fuke, blocked by Delusia. And cross face ends him up into the rear control position. And Delusia looks like he might be going for the arm of Fuke right here. Well, that uh, that that one-on-one -on -one wrist right there is to actually keep Fuke in position and to also uh, keep him from getting his hand up to block the choke attempt. Nice double wrist lock entry by Delusia later on in the match here. Very dangerous position for Fuke. And so far, Delusia getting the best of Fuke, dominating the fight thus far. And what does Fuke have to do right there? It looks like his arms aren't in good shape. Well, he's got his hands locked. Let's get, let's get to try and to try and strengthen that arm that's being attacked, but uh, he's in no leverage, no not a good leverage position to stop Delusia from cranking it behind his back, as you see, and has to take the rope escape. Both fighters back on their feet. Look for Delusia to open up with more with some inside low kicks, I think, from his southpaw stance. <laughs> not playfully uh, slapping Fuke's hand for a second was Delusia. Looking for a reaction with Delusia, and there's that inside low kick. Fuke wisely saw it coming, scoops it up for the single leg, and on, on the mat is Delusia with Fuke on top. And Fuke looks to have finally uh, have something going here against Delusia. He's usually used to the bottom so far we've seen on the, in the fight. And a nice low reverse by Delusia. What did we just see, Josh? Nice bridge attempt by Delusia. Fuke tried to ride it out and continue to keep a back control position, but Delusia, uh, squirming and turning within, managed to reverse and get on top. Fuke here looks like he's going for a knee bar. With the way the match has been going on so far, Delusia's got to be feeling strong and he's got to be feeling confident about uh, getting that submission eventually on Fuke, or maybe even just getting him to, to get enough uh, lost points that he gets the TKO. Now, if you're Fuke, uh, now's the time to take some risks. You're losing in points, and uh, if you leave it up to the judges, you're going to lose. Right, and as we saw with uh, against Medina, he wasn't necessarily losing on points, but he was being controlled for a majority of the match, and it wasn't until he took the risk and went for that rolling, uh, jumping armbar attack that he was able to finally get the armbar that did finish the match for him. With Jason Delucia holding his own, not allowing Fuke to take him down thus far. Engaging in a, in a bit of a striking battle right now, Delucia keeping his distance as he is the, the fighter with the reach. High kick attempt by Delusia, blocked. And uh, Fuke, I'm not, I'm not sure how much time, and Fuke goes down for a second. I'm not sure how much time he thinks is left, but he can't stand around waiting for Delusia to make the first move. No, he's got to be active. He's behind. He's, he's had two, two lost points, two rope escapes versus none, as far as we, I can tell, with Delusia. And uh, down 3-0. He's going to have to pull out a miracle to win this fight. Fuke is going to have to let loose if he wants any chance of winning, but Delusia, not being cautious, goes in for the takedown, and now he has the rear mount. Landing the high kick on the feet. Shutting down Fuke at all levels. Another high kick by Delusia. Well, Delusia might be winning the fight, but he just keeps coming and coming. But it looks like Fuke might have the leg, but not enough time to do anything as the fight comes to an end. Both fighters are very exhausted. Josh, I'm not sure if uh, Fuke had any gas left to do anything in the final 30 seconds of this very fight. Very worn out, very tired, and uh, just getting worked over this match by Delucia. Every, every offense, every defensive position always ending up in, in an advantage to Delucia. So just a really hard fight for Fouquet and just not his night. All right, and, and he has been Delucia before, so he can't do it. So perhaps today, the best fighter won today, but the next fight, it's a toss up. I agree, exactly. And uh, maybe next time when they're able to get into the ring, we'll see a different fight between Fouquet and Delucia.